my boo hi bitches ho 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 hoes 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 so that is my new intro because for the time being for the month of December because it's Christmas and it's 2020 the year of struggle <laughs> that is 2020 the year of constant pain and sufferings and many death and tragedies and calamities but I am here to answer the most asked questions I mean the, uh, the most asked the questions, the question that I always ask myself. How to be happy? How to be happy? Like truly happy, like genuinely happy. So, I'm a bitch who always wants to have an answer to a question. And when I answer, I answer correctly bitch i don't know if it's correct for you but i've listed here things on it's it serves as a guide on how to be happy actually there are three how to be happy how to love yourself and you know how to be a bad bitch so i'm going to make it separate and i'm just going to make a video that will remind me one day that I tried to answer this question in the age of 15 years old and in the year 20 motherfucking 20 but first of all I'm going to warn you that if you are allergic or sensitive to content which include homosexuality profanity and much 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 realness then this channel is not for you and i'm going to remind you to subscribe if you like what you're seeing <laughs> and if you know you think that we have the possibility to vibe then like and even comment don't be shy to comment don't be intimidated by this so yeah i'm just going to start the number one thing that i wrote in this piece of paper this paper is actually recycled yes because yes recycled papers number one is don't care one of the most common mental health illnesses that teens like us have is anxiety and to be happy in order to let go you have in order to let go and be happy you don't you need to not care not care about what others may think not cares about what others may say let go of the what ifs because those what ifs will just control your mind and manipulate your mind and if you're not controlling your own mind you're not going to be happy you're just going to drown in a sea full of negative thoughts and while drowning you will lose yourself because you've been compromised you compromise your own progress by overthinking and overthinking of the endless possibilities and the endless what ifs that might not even happen for instance i read some negative opinion about me like, ang pangit mo, ang pangit na mga videos mo. Or if someone disliked my video or bashed my sexuality as a gay individual. In order to be happy, I don't have to be... Hindi ko kailangan pumarke doon. Hindi mo kailangan pumarke doon sa estado ng... Because... It's just an opinion from a person that doesn't know you. You should know yourself. You should know who you are. And once you know who you are, you will not give a damn. You will not give an ounce or even a unit of care 
to those opinions. So yeah, know yourself in order for you not to give a fuck when it comes to your opinion. And rule number two in being happy is find your purpose. Find your purpose in this life. We all have a purpose in this life. Purpose meaning what has the Lord what is the reason of the Lord that he brought you in this um, in this world, in this time of the year, in this planet, in this... Just find your purpose. Find what makes you happy. And moving on to rule number three, once you find your purpose, you have to learn how to love your passion because your purpose will soon be your passion that will soon be your career that will soon be your profession and you should love that and that profession should not just benefit you but you will help and benefit other people as well because i think a profession that only helps you is pretty selfish and pretty pointless if it's not it's if it's just helping you and not your family not your relatives not other people then it's pretty if you're doing it for survival then that's smart but if you're doing it because you are alone and independent you're, that's also smart but if you're doing it without your passion without helping anybody I just don't see a reason why you would love that fa passion. So yeah, that is rule number three. Moving on to rule number four in being happy is don't settle for less. You should know your damn worth. You should know your damn worth. You should know that I deserve more than that. You should know when to say that I need more than that. That you owe me more than that. Don't settle for less, bitch. Only settle for the best. Because if you settle for less, you will lose yourself because you're settling for... I just... I, I won't be happy if I'm settling for less. If I could have a better this, a better that, why would I settle with what I have now that is not for me that is not fitting the lifestyle that i want you know what i'm saying you get me you get me you and don't settle for less bitch number five is have a principle number five again is have a principle a principle is para siyang kasabihan na iyong pinaliniwalaan like after the storm there comes the rainbow. Um, it's like a quote for a credo or a belief. Have a belief and if you have that principle na you have a principle or something that you believe in, you will have a more uh, sense of direction in life because you know what you want to be happy you know what to follow what things to do to be happy and if you follow that principle that you are currently believing in then you just have a feeling of uh, a sensation of having a direction in your life that is pretty important for me having a principle or a motto in life because we need all we all need guidance and duh if you don't believe in something then why the fuck are you even here rule number six rule number six is fight for what you believe in if someone offended you or offended your feelings and you know just don't be a little bitch fight bitch fight for what you believe in because you believe in that you need to fight for that because that is your belief you just you won't let a you won't you shouldn't let someone like 
belittle you, belittle your beliefs, offend you without doing anything. You just have to fight and defend it. But if your belief is not that strong, then maybe you shouldn't fight for it because you weren't genuine when you choose to believe and to fight for that cause. And number seven is fix your posture. I don't know if this actually makes you happy, but whenever I straight my spinal cord or my back, whenever I see, I feel confident. I feel it's like I'm lifting myself up. I feel so uplifted by this simple gesture. If you're walking like this, if you're talking like this, it's like you're facing down in the world and it's not good. That's not a good thing to pass on. So if I were you, especially in online class, please choose to straighten your back. If you don't want any spinal complications like scoliosis and other health problems, please straighten your back. And when you walk or when you even sit, straighten your back. You will feel this sense of confidence that we all should have number eight is my favorite one because this i couldn't live without number eight like in a day i couldn't survive without it number eight is dance or listen to music i don't know if it's just me but when i am alone and i'm most comfortable because it's just me bitch i am all alone but since music was fucking invented thank you lord for the invention of music you dance you vibe you gravitate towards what you feel like bitch that is a real mood booster if you want to boost your mood listen to music bitch but if you're feeling a little sad it's okay to listen to sad songs because in sad songs, you will actually release what you're feeling. So, mababawasan na yung bigat. Bigat! But if you're happy and celebrating, then listen to upbeat songs and motherfucking dance. I'm going to make a video of how to twerk. I mean, like, kinds of twerking because I am such a good twerker. So... Yeah, stay tuned. Number nine is avoid toxic people. Like toxic people, for instance, bad influences. Why do you have to keep them? And please, don't be like me. I did this before. I tried to please people. Like, please stay in my life. Please don't leave me. Not like super dramatically. Lumukod talaga ako. Pero... In a way, I try to please people to stay in my life because I felt so attached by emotions and memories. But 2020 taught me a real banger, a real lesson because if they want to leave, then leave. I don't need you. Yes, we had fun. Yes, we loved each other platonically or romantically. But bitch, we done. Get out of my life. You already consumed a chapter. Like, I'm going to give spaces to other people who are to come into my life. So, yes, avoid toxic people in any form of toxicity. Please distance yourself from them because if you will not distance yourself from them they will just poison you and in the end you will just die number 10 and also the last one is look in the bright side of life life no one said that life was going to be easy no one said that once you are born in this world you will never encounter the problems and calamities and tra tragedies and trauma depression and anxiety and post-traumatic disorders mental health illnesses 
and diseases and criticisms and jealousy and envy and greed and wrath and anger. No one ever said that in life you will not make a mistake. No one said that in life you will fail. But that's it. It's either you learn from it or you're just going to let it bring you down. And a bad bitch don't let his or herself be brought down. You know what I'm saying? So look, 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 look in the bright side of life. Because life is such a beautiful thing, trust me. If you will just look in an event in your life negatively, girl, that will bring you nowhere. This is the negative side and the positive side. If something bad happened, learn from it. If something good happened, celebrate it. Like, girl, it this steps or tips on being happy is it's our control. We have our own lives and it's our own choice to do these things. It's in our own sea. It's in our it's nasa kamay natin to. This our life is fully controlled by us. We just let our mind imprison us in the head. It will manipulate us, it will push us to overthink. Once we gain control of our own minds, no one can no one can never ever harm or offend us in any way. No one can ever hinder our own happiness. So yeah, thank you all for watching hoes. This is that is all the things that I could give an advice to you on how to be happy because happiness is such a beautiful thing it's the most beautiful feeling in the whole world other than being in love and having sex and I hope I truly hope that you can do or you can try some of these things that I've listed down. So, thank you very much. I'm just going to post for a clickbait or a thumbnail. How to be happy in life. How to post in that. Yuck. 10 things. Yuck. Um, lagi na lang na to. How to be happy in life. Ganda lang. Okay, I feel contented in that. Thank you all for watching if you even stayed. But if you didn't stay, you had your own reasons. So, I hope these tips will make you happy. And I hope that you apply them. Not all of them, but just some of them in your life. I'm going to list this down in the description box and it's your choice to view it or not and thank you very much for watching this video and if you finish this i hope you feel uplifted and happy and i hope i boosted your mood and i hope we can vibe soon so ho 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 hos goodbye advance merry christmas because santa claus is coming to town. Goodbye!